welcome to assignment number three. For this assignment, we're going to be drawing a football field, and we're going to be working on a few new commands. So unit, limit, dim style, dimensions, um, and a single line text command. So you may want to print this off or just keep it pulled up in the background if you don't know these measurements, but hopefully at least everyone uh, knows what a football field looks like. So uh, we'll go ahead and back over to AutoCAD. Uh, there's a few things you're going to want to set up. Uh, first of all, make sure you click on uh, Start New Drawing. Make sure you're in model space. And from here on out, you're always going to want to make sure that you set your units. you got to tell it, hey, this is what I'm drawing in. So uh, we click on the bottom here in the command prompt. Type in units. Enter. And I've already changed it, but make sure this right here under, under length and type is set for architectural. Okay. That's the only thing you need to worry about here for now. Um, this intersection scale, uh, or insertion scale, I'm sorry, what that does is just if you type something in and you don't let it know if it's feet or inches, it's going to assume you're talking about inches. So leave that alone. Just know that's what that is. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to change is the limits. What this does is this sets your usable area um, within your screen. So enter. And lower left-hand corner is going to be the origin, so 0, 0, so x0, y0. Now we're going to go up and set the upper right-hand corner, so we're going to have to give it an x value and a y value. So whatever is in parentheses is already what it's set for, so I'm going to leave that and hit enter. Now it asks me, well, what's the upper right-hand corner? I was already in here, and I changed it to 1,000, uh, 1,000, so 1,000 x, 1,000 y, and feet. Whenever you enter anything in and you're in architectural for your units, you have to enter it in in feet dash inches. So feet dash inches. Um, and you do need um, one dash for feet and two dashes for inches. If you just entered in just 15 or 20 um, and didn't have a symbol next to it, it would assume you're inches. So make sure you enter in feet and inches. And again, I already typed it in. If you, if you haven't typed it in yet, right there, type it in right there. 1,000 um, apostrophe dash zero inches and then comma. Same thing. Okay, so now we have the unit set and the limit set. It's very important to set those two things uh, for every project from here on out. Now, if we were to just go ahead and draw a line here, and then we try to dimension it. So annotations is anything to do with dimensioning, with arrows, with dimension lines, with text, is under this annotations box. So we have our line, our line drawn. You can use this as kind of an auto dimension tool, or I like using this one, okay? So if you click on the down arrow, what you'll have is all the various types of dimensions we can add. So it tries to guess which one you need. If you use the auto dimension tool, I just go over here and I pick which one I need. Uh, it kind of eliminates any error on the computer's part. So we'll go linear. Again, I'm using O snaps, which is F3 or down here. It's very important to so snaps, otherwise you may not snap directly to the end of the box. So we drew this line, but we can hardly read our dimension. It says 34.52. And what is 34.52? Well, when we drew our line, it's telling us we're like 2 foot 10 and a half inches. So that's obviously wrong. So this is where we use the dim style command. So, so far you've used limits, you've used units. And now I need to type dim style under the bottom. So always hit escape a few times to make sure you're not in a previous command. We'll go back down here to the command prompt and type in dim style, D-I-M-S-T-Y-L-E. Now, this is where you can change anything to do with dimensions. We'll get into this a little more in the future, but for now, just kind of follow along. Go into the modify bar, right? And we're going to go over to text. So text style, text color, text height. We may, we may have to change the text height to make this larger. So let's say six, and remember to add inches, six inches. Um, and then color the same, we'll go to primary units. we we'll change from decimal to architectural. Okay, we'll hit okay. And then we'll hit close. So, see, and six inches is obviously too big. We may want to go with, um, like, two inches or one inch. So we can go back, and you can type it in again, or you can just hit Enter, and it brings you back into the previous command. We'll hit Modify. Um, we'll change the text site. Let's go down to two inches, see if we like that. 
a lot better. So you can you can change the text, tweak it to whatever looks good for your drawing. Um, for a football field, we're probably going to need it set closer to six inches, which we can change that as the time goes on. All right. Now let's get into the football field. So we'll start off. I start off by drawing one baseline. Um, and I'm going to draw... I'm not going to draw the football field vertical. I'm going to draw it horizontal. And it's 100 yards long plus 10 yards per end zone. So you have 300 feet plus 30 plus 30. So 360, and you can just type it in right now. I'm just I just clicked one one end of the line. Show you guys again. Click a starting point, point in the direction you want to go. Type in 300 feet and hit enter. A lot of people will mess up here. A lot of people are just going to type in 300 and hit enter. And it's going to be inches. Oh, I almost messed up there too. So 360 feet and hit enter. So if you can't zoom out far enough like this, okay. Hit escape, we have that line drawn, and a quick cheat to see the whole thing is hit Z, enter, or zoom, you get, it brings you to the zoom command, and we're going to hit A right here, or you can click on it, A, enter. So Z, enter, A, enter, it zooms all so you can see the entire screen. So right here we're looking at our line. Um, I'm going to move it just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. So there's our line, 360 feet long. Now, a football field is 160 feet wide, so we're going to go ahead, go up this way. 160 feet, enter, or you can click and hold on the middle mouse button, the scroller, and that allows you to pan around. And I'm going to hover over this end point. Okay, go back down here. So there we go. We've got our basic outline, basic outline of the football field. So the next thing I'll do is I think I'll come in each end. Each end I'm going to come in are 10 yards or 30 feet. So there's a few different ways to do it. You could, of course, just draw a line, start at the corner, say I'm going to go over 30 feet, enter, and then come straight down. But I don't really want to do that. I'm going to show you guys this command right here. If you hover over top of it, it says this is the offset command. It's like two lines that are offset from each other. So I've escaped a few times to make sure you're not in any other command. We'll click on the offset command. Now it asks us to specify the offset distance. So in this case, you can click on a corner, you can move over, you can you can click the distance, or you can simply just type in the distance. So I'm going to type in 30 feet, enter. Now any line you click on is the line you want to offset the first time. So I click on that line, and wherever you move your cursor is the direction it will offset it. Okay, I want to move it that way, okay, enter. I'll click on this line, move it this way. Okay. So now we have our end zones done. We're going to repeat the same process every five yards, okay, all the way across. There's other ways to do this, but this is the way we're going to do it right now. So now five yards is 15 feet. Don't forget to change this to 15 feet. All right. All right. The next thing we want to add are these hash marks. So what we'll do, we'll zoom into one particular area. And again, there's a number of different ways we can do this. Uh, we could draw a line across here and then draw our hash marks to it, which I'm not, or we could draw a line across the hash line down. Or we could offset this every three feet, draw a line, and trim those. So I think the route that I'm going to take is I'm going to click right here and go three feet in this direction. Come down here. Like let's say five feet. You can pick these. I don't care about the measurements as long as you have your three feet spacing. There's we're off. That line was not straight. Okay, so again, the measurements I'm using, and there's the three feet, which is standard. Come out here, five feet. 
and we'll use the offset command again. We have five feet. Sorry, three feet. Start offsetting these. Okay, so we have one yard, two yard, three yard, four yard, five yards. And you can offset it directly over top. There's two lines there now. You're not going to see them. It doesn't matter for what we're doing. So go all the way across. I'm not going to do all the way across, but I will let you guys go all the way across like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do, and we talked about this, I believe, last time, is use this command right here. Okay, you can use the mirror command. You can, of course, just go through, redraw the same thing on this side, exact same way we did it, way we did it here, redraw the same thing here, and offset it all the way across. But as I said before, there's easier ways to do things. So really utilize this modify bar. Okay, you can play with that a little bit. And save frequently. Um, in case your computer closes down, you don't have to redo this. So save frequently. So we're going to use this command. It's the mirror command. So if we click on that, the first thing it says is select an object you want to uh, you want to copy. And it says the same thing down here. In command prompt. So I'm going to say, well, you know what? I want to copy these. Copy all those. So we selected them. We hit enter. So specify first point mirror line. So if you were to have a line of symmetry drawn through here in the middle or a line that you want to copy along, Again, the triangle, whenever you see a triangle pop up, that green triangle, that's the exact middle of the line. So we're selecting the exact center of a field, of the field, all the way across the exact middle. It says, do you want to delete the source object? No, I don't want to delete the source. I want to leave it there. Hit enter. Now all I did is mirror that across to that side. So I'll have both sides done now, this and this. Pretty simple. So we'll go ahead, go across each side. Um... For adding the hash marks into the middle here, again, I, I don't care about the measurement for that as long as you're the three three feet apart. I don't care about the distance in. I know it's different for high school and college and professional. So you can look that up if you want, or you can do like I'm going to do, and we will just kind of guesstimate it here. Start here. Okay. Now, we used the copy command before, and that's what I want you guys to do. So... The copy command that we used on the earlier assignment, we'll highlight these, you can hit copy, and specify base point of displacement. This is where do I want to grab onto the whole, this thing from. And I want to grab on to a point that I know, which is right here. Okay, and then I can just move it down. This is how far. So I'm going to go, let's go 35 feet. So we offset at 35 feet. You can do the same thing here. Uh, that doesn't look like quite, quite far enough. Let's do a little more. Here. We'll go 50 feet. There you go. All right. So, so far we use the offset command on this side. We use the mirror command to get it over this side. And we use the copy command to bring this across. Again, you can, if you want to, you could just simply uh, draw the first one and use offset all the way across, draw the first one, use offset all the way across, draw the first one, use offset all the way across, and so on and so forth for the whole thing. Um, and that would certainly be a way to get it done. But using the modify commands here makes it a lot easier. So just like I use the mirror command to get this side over to this side, I'm going to use the mirror command again to get this half over to this half. And again, I would wait until you have the hash marks all the way across to copy them or mirror them. Like that. Selected the objects. We're going to hit enter. Um, we're going to make sure we're in the middle again. Hit enter. So you'd have your hash marks done all the way across at this point in time. All right. Next thing I want you to do is you're going to add in um, the, the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and, and then back down. Maybe add in RAMs in the end zones. So we're going to use single line text for all of this. Now, if you click on the down arrow and then click on single line text, the first point you're going to pick is the equivalent of the lower left-hand side or the lower left-hand corner of whatever it is you're going to draw. So we're just going to click. And then the next point is the height. How tall do you want it? You can type it in or you can just measure it and say, oh, you know, I want it about that tall. And then the third time you click, it's the direction you want the text going. If you want it to be traditional, um, like the traditional way you'd write a sentence, you point straight to the right. If you want it to be written going vertically, you point up or at an angle. So you click on that, start typing, and then 
you can hit enter and escape and there you go we obviously don't want that so we'll delete it you can click on it and hit the delete command if you guys haven't caught on you can use um, the delete button once something is highlighted so click on it hit delete if you hit backspace it won't work you have to delete it's the same as using this little erase command up here all right so let's for example start down here we will do single line text start here I want it to be about that tall and I want it to be in this direction go here hit escape and we have it there if you want to center it we'll use this move command just like we did before we'll hit the move command click on rams and then you hit enter you click on the base point of, uh, for displacement where do you want to move it from and we'll move it down just a little bit to center it for the yard line markers I would I'd get one started single line text and we'll say we'll do it right here I want to be about that tall in this direction we'll type in our 10 okay there Okay, and we want that to be centered, so we'll click on the move command. You click on the what you want to move, you hit enter, you click on where you want to move it from. I'm going to click as close to center as possible. Try to get it centered on that 10-yard line. So we have that. Now, you can do that all the way along if you'd like, or you can use this copy command again. You select the object. Select the object, hit enter. Now, where do you want to move it from? I am actually going to, you can click from anywhere. You don't even have to click on the object. I'm going to click from right here because then I can keep clicking at that same intersection all the way down. And you can do that all the way across. If it were me, I would do the entire top side. And then once I change all these, you will double click on it. 20. Double click. 30 that all the way across and the same way we use this mirror command to copy these hash marks to the other side escape we use that mirror command again to copy our text to the other side we may have to rotate it and things we'll see when we get there so mirror click there click there and we have it over to this side Hit enter so we have it on each side and once you get it all the way across, if you want to flip it around, um, there we go. All right, so we'll flip this whole thing around. I can delete those in a minute. So rotate right here. Click on the rotate command. So 30, 40, this would be 50. It wants to, well, where do we want to rotate it from? I'm going to click right here. Go like that. We can rotate it. Grab these again. Move them. And everything would be done. So you'd have to Use the mirror command to get to one side and rotate it around so that they're not upside down. Okay, so this should be pretty straightforward. There's a lot of new commands, but they're all very, very easy. Almost all of them um, are located here in the modify toolbar where you have mirror, you'll have rotate. Um, we already discussed copy, um, and we did introduce offset again today. So if you have any questions, pause it at any point in time, rewind it. Uh, and let's get through this. You'll have the whole week to get this done. It shouldn't be too bad. If you have any questions, stop in and see me. Good luck.